I'll begin by interpreting the problem statement. We're looking at a round window. The diameter is one half of a meter, and this window is loaded with seawater, and the specific gravity of the seawater is 1.03. This distance is 1.5 meters, and the window is angled at 60 degrees, as shown. The goals are the hydrostatic force, so the load on the window, and the location of the center of pressure. To connect, I'm going to visualize the window. And so if I sketch the window like this and imagine a point right there, there's a pressure acting at this point, and we can represent that pressure um, kind of like this. So here's the pressure acting at this point. Now if I go to a point in the top of the window, there's also a pressure here, but this is at a um, high, or excuse me, a lower depth. So there's a smaller pressure here. And similarly, if I pick a point here, there's a larger pressure. And so pressure is varying continuously at every point along this window. And this, of course, is called a what we're looking at here is called a pressure distribution. And the idea is we're going to replace the pressure distribution, replace this right here, with an equivalent force. Let me sketch that. Okay, here's the window in side view. Here's the pressure distribution. And this is linear. It's called a hydrostatic pressure distribution. So I'm going to replace this distributed stress with an equivalent force, the pressure force, which acts at the center of pressure which is going to be located below the center of gravity, or the centroid of area of the plate. Those are equivalent in this case. So this is the uh, center of gravity, or centroid of area, and this is the center of pressure. So I'm looking, my goals are to find this force, and also to find this distance. To define the situation, I describe the problem in one statement. I make my situation diagram. And notice I capture the fluid properties right here. So I'll need the specific weight of seawater, which is 10,104 newtons per cubic meter, slightly higher than that of fresh water. I capture my goals next. So I'm looking for the magnitude of the hydrostatic force and the distance from the uh, centroid to the center of pressure. That's the distance I showed you in the last sketch. Next, I generate ideas for reaching my goal. The first goal is the pressure force. The window is a flat panel, so I select the panel equation, and my goal appears right there. Area, pi d squared over 4 is known, and so now I need an equation for the pressure at the depth of the centroid. Let me go ahead and find this term next. Okay, to find p bar, I need to find the pressure at this depth or the pressure at the depth of the centroid. So I need to solve for this distance using geometry and then multiply it by the specific weight of the water. And the equation I'm going to use for this is the hydrostatic equation. And let me go ahead and write down the results after I apply the hydrostatic equation. Here's the result, and here's the goal pressure at the depth of the centroid, and the specific way to seawater is known. And this collection of terms sim simply gives the vertical distance from the water surface to the centroid, and everything in here is known. So now I can solve for p-bar, and then I can go back and solve for my first goal, the pressure force on the panel. To summarize, I found a way to solve for this goal. Next, I need to find this distance, the distance from the center of pressure to the centroid. Let me go ahead and write down the equation and do term by term analysis. All right, here's my equation. This distance is the goal. The area of the plate is known. This is the area moment of inertia of a round disk. This can be looked up. And this is the slant distance from the centroid to the water surface. Let me show you what distance that is. To find this land distance, simply draw a line through the centroid and a line where 
this particular line intersects the surface. So the slant distance is right here, so that's y bar. So this term is known, and so there's our goal, and everything on the right hand side of the equation is known. Now we can make a plan and then do our calculations. Here's my plan. Notice there's five steps. And in my documentation, this is my paper copy, I went ahead and numbered each equation because there's a lot of details here. So I'm going to calculate the slant height with equation 5, calculate the pressure at the centroid with equation 4. You get the idea. Let's go ahead and do calculations. Execute the plan. The slant distance is right here. The pressure at the depth of the centroid is about 17.3 kPa. To calculate area moment, I looked up the formula in figure 8.1 in the back of the book appendices. The area moment value is right here. Center of pressure. Here's the formula. Here's the final value and we can note that the center of pressure is about 8 millimeters below the centroid. The pressure force is 3.41 kilonewtons. Review comment number one. I notice that the plate is about 500 millimeters long and the distance, which is shown right here, between the centroid and center of pressure, I can round up to 10 millimeters. And so this is 1 50th of the diameter of the plate. So the center of pressure is very close indeed to the centroid of the window. Review comment number two. If I look at the resultant pressure force, it comes out to be about 765 pounds force, and this is sort of like four large males. And since the plate is only about um, a foot and a half in diameter, you can picture this foot and a half diameter disc with a load equivalent to four large men standing on the plate. Review comment number three. When I think of the panel equation, I think of relatively simple ideas. It's just about sum of forces equals zero and sum of moments around some convenient point equals zero. But there's a lot of calculations. And because of this, Organized documentation, carrying and canceling units, careful sketches, all these things become really important to getting correct solutions. Thank you very much for listening to this solution. I hope you've really found this useful.